Hi Sagittarius! Thank you so much for joining me for your May monthly tarot video. Before we get started with your reading, I just wanted to quickly remind you guys that I am doing a 24-piece crystal giveaway on both of my Instagram pages, the Mindful Awakening as well as Mindful Botanica Toronto. This is what the 24 crystals look like. Um, they're beautiful, such unique pieces, and they all have the labels inside the package so that you know what crystal is which. Uh, the giveaway is open worldwide, so if you were interested in trying out, you just have to follow me on both of my Instagram pages. This is in celebration of the launch of my small business, Mindful Botanica Toronto, that I've been teasing for several weeks now. Um, I will be choosing the winner on May 21st, the start of Gemini season, as well as the launch date of Mindful Botanica. So if you were interested, check out the links in the description box below and good luck. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages are in store. For Sagittarius signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. Show us everything we need to see. For Sagittarius signs, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for the month of May. What do we need to see? Sagittarius signs, show us what we need to see. I hope you guys are doing well. We are currently in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. So here's to some clear messages. Show us everything we need to see for Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of May. Already I can see just from the two cards that have come out, you guys are finally coming into your own. I see some new amazing business ventures for some. I see a personal investment in living your best life, self-care, investments in money, work, and finance. Maybe some of you have decided to purchase a property or you're reevaluating your savings. Oh, we have two. I will take it. All right. Sagittarius signs, I definitely feel like this month for you is all about the level up. Um, I do see that maybe you're still working through certain certain things that have always gotten in your way whether it's in personal relationships or in like your passion projects i feel like there's been this invisible like wall that you hit um i feel like you try very hard to kind of push yourself and to uh, get out of your comfort zones but there's like a wall that you hit um and it's been very frustrating uh you've been very down on yourself maybe that it's negative self-talk also um but I'm getting that things are kind of changing for you. Retrograde has been a blessing in disguise for you. I, I'm getting that um, it's allowing for time and space to reevaluate how far you've come, what work you need to do. Um, you're looking at things a little bit differently. I, I don't think you have answers necessarily on how you want things to uh, turn out. I, I think what's happening right now is an openness to just like try. Now, for some of you, this Ace of Pentacles upright um, is showing up in um, a reinvestment in yourself, but yourself in terms of business. So if you've been thinking about being an entrepreneur, starting a business, um, sharing your journey on social media, um, if you've been thinking about investing your money and your finances in uh, like a new business venture. I'm getting like also real estate for some people, maybe buying a second property, maybe investing in a rental property or like an Airbnb space. Um, for others of you, I'm, I'm also just getting, um, taking some money and reinvesting in a place that maybe you've been too scared to do. So for some, I'm thinking crypto, um, I'm also getting material wealth for some, uh, taking stock of what you have at home. I think um, some of you, I'm not sure why I'm getting this message, but I feel like some of you are making some big, like big um, furniture purchases 
if you've just recently moved into a new space. Uh, for others of you, I'm getting reinvestment in vehicles. Maybe you're buying like a hybrid vehicle. I know gas prices have been absolutely crazy worldwide, um, but I feel like some of you may be thinking about either making a big purchase, saving up to make a big purchase, or you're currently in the middle of um, scoping out the market for what this big purchase is. Um, for those of you that are dealing with this on a business level, I feel like you're just more open, like I said earlier, to possibilities of like what's next for you. Uh, I, I don't think you necessarily have the most concrete plan, but I do see that you you can recognize the value in self-investment. And so with the five of pentacles in reverse, I feel like maybe in past you guys have tried to do the entrepreneurial route. But again, that brick wall, I, I'm just I can almost visualize the wall that you hit. The imposter syndrome comes in, the self-doubt comes in, and oftentimes like you'll go down that path following your passion, but the passion dies out. So, um, and I feel like maybe that's what the wall is. Uh, the self-doubts creep in, or um, these considerations show up as roadblocks, and then once you hit that wall, I, I am feeling like you've given up on yourself in the past. Um, and I think you can recognize that, like, quick to be passionate, quick to start, but often don't finish, or that your energy gets redirected into other things. And so the original investment ends up not being complete because you've moved on or not seen an idea to full fruition. And I think you've really gotten down on yourself as a result of this tendency that you have to really get passionate about something, but then not see it all the way through. Um, and so you have like, you know, all of these ideas, all of these passion projects, um, or jumping from job to job, or, um, you know, having maybe one place of solid income, but like, you just don't know where to divert your attention for this passion project. And I think the comparisons that you've, um, done in the past have made you feel left out in the cold but I, I think you're moving out of that space i think you're recognizing that maybe it just wasn't the time it wasn't your time um and now because of retrograde because of this reinvestment in self you're seeing that uh maybe it's not necessarily what you were investing in but how you went about doing it that would lead you back to that same wall so I think doing things differently and being consistent with the different thing that you're doing is actually yielding more positive results for you. And I think it's making you feel a lot better. Um, now that being said, I am not sure that you can see the end goal just yet. I think you're moving moment to moment with the two of wands in reverse here. I think you're taking every single day as it comes. You're dealing with your daily goals versus long-term outcome. Um, I think maybe that's why you kept hitting a wall is that you kept thinking long-term outcome, long-term term outcome, but all of the minute details in between point A to point B have often created a lot of um, upset and breakdown for you in past. So it's less about, um, I have to accomplish this goal by X amount of time and be doing X, Y, Z. I think you're more leaning into how you want to feel versus like the thing itself. So I want to feel more like X, Y, Z. So every day I'm going to commit myself to X, Y, Z. And I think the more that you stay committed to this thing, um, the better that you're starting to feel about your process. So less about outcome, which I think in past you've been very outcome focused and now you're more invested in your daily process. Now, you may not feel completely fulfilled. I do feel like this is something new that you're starting. Maybe it's only been a few days. Maybe it's only been a week or two that you've been reinvesting your energy into this new way of doing things. So I think there's still an adjustment period. Hanged man in reverse, nine of cups in reverse. There's an adjustment period that you're in the middle of and it's slowly feeling better and better. Um, and I think the message here is just to continue having more compassion for yourself because you're in discovery mode at the moment. We also have the sun in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, 
so you're not feeling the greatest i'm not gonna lie i think a lot of people are kind of going through that right now of just like the reevaluation process that usually comes with mercury retrograde so it's totally normal to be dipping into self-doubt and wondering if like you're going to end up repeating the same process um you have a lot of people that are in your corner though three of cups upright that are very supportive towards this new uh route and new method that you're taking to discover what's next for you which is fantastic i don't see you being stuck in this self-doubt space for long i really feel like you're you're just trying something new here um and that's more focused like i said on your daily routine and finding like the little things to be thankful for uh being in the practice of gratitude being in the practice of intentional choices day by day versus uh getting so upset with yourself when um you start to lose steam uh, over a project because maybe, like I said earlier, uh, maybe the minute details kind of get in the way um, and then you get down on yourself and then you give up on that thing or it kind of gets shelved and then you start something new and then you get upset because maybe the other thing that you started was not completed and it's this cycle. I'm really getting, there's a cyclical nature about the way that you've gone about um, these other aspects of your day-to-day -day life as it pertains to meaning and purpose and and um, expansion um, in the material world. This feels so vague. I hope this resonates with some of you, but I'm getting these messages so strong. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I'm feeling that this is less about personal love relationships and more about like self-discovery, self-investment um getting your money finances right getting your material world and your daily tangible routines um at a place where you're happy let's clarify the ace of pentacles Ace of Pentacles is clarified by Three of Swords up uh, in reverse, Two of Cups upright, High Priestess upright. Uh, a love connection or a best friend doesn't have to be romantic, could be a best friend or a love connection is in your life to help you to move from this place of sadness, disappointment. For some, it's betrayal from a third party situation, lying, cheating, stealing. For others of you, it doesn't have to be um, betrayal. It's just like disappointment things that have really hurt you deeply whether it's about other people or yourself or the way that you've seen the world um at some point you've become disillusioned about reality and i think there's a connection in your life a love connection strong water sign energy here uh whether it's your boyfriend your husband your girlfriend your wife um could be a platonic friendship someone that gets you on a soul level has come into your life to help you tap back into your intuition and deal with your higher higher self here with the high priestess upright they are providing the access point for you to discover something so important for you for your personal development something that's always been there something that's unique to you but maybe has been blocked again because the disappointments of things have really taken uh such a uh uh such have have played such a resounding role in the way that you perceive your life um you've been through a lot sag you've been through a lot of disappointments it's been hard for you to connect on a deep level um with somebody and and this time for whatever reason the person that's in your life whether a platonic best friend a mentor or a love relationship this person is really helping you to see things on a on the grander scale um, and helping you to tap back into your intuition, which is great because with the Ace of Pentacles coupled with this, you have a balance here of stability in your material space, in your material world, um, as compared to your emotions. Beautiful. And if you're single, it looks like someone is going to be coming into your life. A love connection may be coming into your life to help you discover this part of yourself. Five of Pentacles in reverse. If this is a love connection, makes a lot of sense that we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. No longer feeling isolated or alone. Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have here Tower in reverse. The Empress upright. 
Wheel of Fortune. What goes up must come down. Cycles are definitely coming to an end here with the Tower in reverse. Maybe you are avoiding something difficult, something painful. Maybe uh, what's happening here is divine timing. Uh, the Empress is, for me, the birth of something new. So even though we do have endings that are coming here, I think there's a bit of a delay in this ending that is taking place, which makes total sense. Again, we are in retrograde season. So where there is usually quick forward movement in this time, we usually do find everything slows down. Um, things take longer. It's the reevaluation process. So as you are discovering these new things, uh, as it pertains to connection, as it pertains to material stability, investment, while you're dealing with these things, more and more things are coming out from underneath the surface, uh, things that maybe you did not see, things that maybe did not take the forefront in your life. Um, and I think there, there's definitely something that's culminating in your life, um, making room for something new around the corner. Uh, now, it might feel very uncomfortable, painful for some. Um, it causes a bit of a disruption, but like I said, the tower here is in reverse. So I think you're being given opportunities to see things differently so that you yourself can make a more educated choice uh, as to how to do things differently so that the tower does not fall on its own. So maybe not so much avoiding, but maybe this is an opportunity, Wheel of Fortune Upright, an opportunity to see things differently so that you can create Empress, something different out of this situation that would have otherwise led to a tower moment which is very much the pattern when it comes to this specific thing um, that's been very painful for you in your life all right let's take a look at this two of wands two of wands in reverse two of wands in reverse queen of cups upright Page of Cups upright. Oh my goodness, Four of Cups upright. So much cup energy. We had the Two of Cups here. Now we have Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Four of Cups. A lot of nostalgic past energy. Maybe someone from your past is coming back, which makes total sense because again, retrograde season, our exes always like to come out from out of the woodwork. For some of us, it's friendship or family members or people that we least expect that we've lost touch with oftentimes come back during this time um, just to see how far you've grown, maybe to also give closure to certain situations where closure was not had. Uh, could even be in places that you didn't even know you needed the closure, but Again, we did have here earlier the Three of Swords, so I would not be surprised if someone who caused some pain and heartbreak and sadness in your past comes back to either reconcile with you or to come back to just bring closure to a situation. Now, we do have here the Page of Cups upright, as well as the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, very sensitive and emotional time. Uh, you could be dealing with someone who has like a younger energy or uh, is younger than you. I'm getting children are going to play a very important role in this uh, section of the month. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting here that um, you're being given a love offer. Um, might not feel very stable for some of you, especially if, you, if they're showing up as a page. Um, and you are showing up as a queen. For others of you, this might be reversed. It might be that someone that you're dealing with is more emotional and sensitive and invested in the relationship than you are. Um, but I feel like you're learning something out of this. There's a balance that's being um, worked out here, especially as it pertains to some sort of past energy. Maybe um, someone has done more work than the other emotionally. Maybe in your relationship dynamic, uh, one of you tends to bring about more deep conversations as a way to have a deeper connection with one another. Um, I'm getting a lot of sharing happening this month. I'm getting a lot of emotion, a lot of sensitivity, a lot of bringing up difficult and challenging things that ultimately will bring sorry it was in reverse that ultimately will bring you and your partner a lot closer together you could be dealing like i said with a water sign um this water sign energy is so strong highly emotional highly intuitive highly sensitive energy let's take a look here at the nine of cups in reverse i'm also getting that the summertime is going to be big for so many signs and with this water sign energy i'm inclined to say that something in july end of june early july 
might happen for you. Nine of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups upright. You're not interested in short-term connections. You're definitely interested in investing yourself into something more long-term. Maybe you and your partner are deciding to take your relationship to the next level or that's going to be the topic of discussion here. If you're single, I am seeing here that there might be a new love offer uh, being given to you. Knight of Cups in reverse. So again, more long-term energy, less short-term. Could be um, a moment of reconciliation between you and someone from your past. Uh, now, I'm not promoting that you get back with an ex especially not during retrograde, but for some people that's the divine timing at work and that's what ends up happening, eight of cups in reverse here. So for some of you, if you've been having a very difficult time with your current partner, I'm, I'm feeling that during this retrograde season, it will be an opportunity for renewal here. So not really leaving this relationship, but I am getting that you might be giving this one last go with someone who is very important to you. Could be someone that you've been on and off with for some time and you're deciding that this retrograde season you'll you'll try. This will be the last attempt to try and you're both coming at this from a new point of view. Um, after a long time of nine of cups in reverse, eight of cups in reverse, some sadness, right? Maybe someone in your past has cheated on you, hurt you, deceived you somehow. Um, and this is like the last opportunity that you're giving to this person. Ace of cups up, right? So definitely a love offer being made. Um, let's take a look at this hanged man. I feel a lot of resentment though. So if that's the situation you are dealing with, you're going to have to be honest about the resentment that you feel as you offer this new opportunity. It might not even be you. It might be you who's threatening Eight of Cups. That maybe that's what the tower in reverse is. Maybe you're the one who's like, mm, I'm not really feeling this situation. If you do this one more time, we're done. Um, but someone is really trying their best to kind of create a new opportunity. Now, Hanged Man in Reverse is clarified by Five of Swords upright, uh, Page of Wands in Reverse, and we have the Ace of Wands upright. So definitely your energy here with the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone has been uh, wanting to prove themselves correct in a situation. I think you've been having some disagreements. You and your person are very snappy towards one another. Um, Whenever I see the Five of Swords, I'm always thinking the need to be right at all costs. And I think sometimes this can spiral into the argument that never ends, the argument that carries on to the next day because there's just a desire to be heard, a desire to be able to speak your truth. Um, but notice here, all right, you may have your swords, but look, there's someone who's like really upset about this. And at the end of the day, okay, you have the swords, you were able to communicate it, but in terms of your relationship, was this actually useful in terms of helping to bring understanding and empathy towards a situation? Or are you just happy because you're the one who collected all the swords and you're the last one standing? And I think that's something that's definitely going to come up. It's like a pattern here. Uh, where do you get swept up in the argument or the disagreement that it just makes you want to do and keep going ace of wands upright i think you're being encouraged here to maybe take a different approach to things maybe you'll be lit up about doing things a little bit differently like i said there was so much cup energy here um that maybe th this passionate action that you're choosing to take is more grounded in the emotions rather than the need to be right and so page of swords in reverse that maybe you're softening up just a little bit to allow more room to breathe in a situation that's a little bit more complicated than what meets the eye. Interesting. So we started off as this being like a financial business reading and somehow with all the clarification cards, it turned into a very highly emotional relationship driven reading for the month of May. Let's go ahead and take a look here with some final Oracle cards to wrap up our reading. Any final advice? Wow, that was quick. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. That's this energy that I'm getting here. Okay, the need to be right sometimes promotes space and difference, anger, resentment. Um, there needs to be a balance. And so how can you have closeness in a situation where 
uh, you are determined to be heard at all costs or vice versa. This could be the other person or it could be both of you that there's a need here to just sometimes give it space and time to breathe. Uh, give each other time and space to breathe so that both of you have an equal opportunity to communicate more effectively rather than getting sucked into the spiral of having to like get all your thoughts across and communicate immediately um, over top of one another. I'm feeling like you guys are like talking over top of each other. So no one's even hearing the other person anymore. No one's listening. So again, coming from a place of generosity and empathy, how can you promote closeness between you and your partner or you and your friend or you and a colleague or whoever it is that you're dealing with in this two of cups energy, this very important relationship could even be between you and a parent. So whoever it is that's caused some hurt, okay? Tower is here, it's in reverse. So again, you're being given an opportunity to kind of deal with things that you've kind of just swept under the rug for some time give each other space and actually in the space and in the ability to uh, allow for free communication, that's where you will feel uh, closeness. So Sagittarius, I hope this resonates with you. Uh, again, don't forget to sign up for my mailing list if you are interested in receiving a launch discount for Mindful Botanica Toronto. And again, don't forget the 24 piece crystal giveaway that's happening on Instagram, open worldwide, winner chosen on May 21st. And again, um, have a happy May and I hope it all works out for you. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.